Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So there's been an update to Google Discover and this latest update means that you're going to be seeing a lot of older articles show up in Google Discover and the reason for that is how this works. And Google has changed how Google Discover works by a little bit but this little small itty bitty change is going to have a dramatic effect on most websites traffic. Now especially if you're running an informational site but I would also argue with this affects sites that are also in the e-commerce niche, those that are selling services, and obviously informational websites. So in this video, we'll take a look at how this Google Discover feature works and the possibilities that it offers in terms of SEO if you're trying to bring in traffic to your website. Now, before I get into the video, just want to say I offer SEO services. There's a link in the description that takes you to a Google form. You fill out the Google form and I'll get in touch with you with a quote or to light up a meeting so we can discuss what you need. The other thing is that I also offer topical mapping services. So if you're looking to build the topical authority, which I think is now more important than ever before, especially with Google's new discover feature and the new follow feature, it means that if your articles are not great, you're not building authority, you're not pulling in the traffic needed, you're not gonna rank. So topical authority, more important than ever before, you need a topical map and you need one that's really good, not just a bunch of gibberish. The other service I offer is a uh, website audit service. And if your website is stuck, you can't seem to get traffic, you can't seem to rank, or you were ranking, your rankings have gone down, you suspect you've been held by a Google penalty, you're not sure, my audit service will help not only do I uncover what's going wrong with the website, but I also provide you with insights on what you can do to fix the website so it gets back on its feet. And most of all, this is easy to do. When I offer the service, I provide you with literally the blueprint that you can use to do it yourself instead of just hiring, hiring someone like me. But if you need to hire someone like me, again, there's a link in the description and fill the form and I'll get in touch with you. So back to the back to the main topic here. And the main topic here is Google Discover. And what you'll notice if you have a, if you've been doing this for a while, is you already know that Google Discover shows a lot of the latest content as well a lot of the latest stuff. So if you're using Google on your mobile phone, you, if you go to the, if you have a Chrome browser installed, you open the Chrome browser and you see that a lot of the latest news, the latest information, and the latest articles on Google Discover. But as of late, at least in the US, people are noticing that there is a lot of older content, some content is like six, seven months old. And the reason for that is because they have followed that content and you've probably forgotten that. So many people have, uh, like if you've been following something, if you hit the follow button on your mobile device or in desktop device, which it means that you're following that topic and Google wants to show you more about that topic. Now, to be clear, uh, this feature, it's different from the Chrome follow button feature. Uh, it's uh, different from the knowledge panels follow feature and the Git updates button and the Google News feature. So this is entirely new and this is hooked down to your feed. As of right now, it's only mainly users in the US that are seeing this, but Google hopes to roll this out to the entire world, which means that you're gonna have to deal with it at some point. So first things first, if you're seeing traffic from a lot of older articles, it could be a Google Discover in, in action. Now I'm not seeing this with any of my clients, I'm not seeing this with any of my own websites, but I'm seeing this in my Google feed, even though I'm not in the US. So I'm seeing this in my Google feed and uh, it means that if a lot of these older articles are surfacing and I click on them and tap on them because I'm interested in the topic, Google sees that as being relevant to meeting the intent, meeting, uh, providing the information that it's int intended to, to provide. And also that people are interested in reading this topic. So that website that gets uh, showed up in Discover and gets all the clicks and gets all the follows is the website that it will eventually do well in SERPs and especially that page will do well in SERPs. And how can you use that for your, to your advantage? Well, there are a few things that you can do. A, write content that people want to read but B, also you didn't get into Google Discover in the first place. And one of the ways of doing that is to do a press release. So if you do an article, you write an article, you publish an article, you know this is a great article, no one's gonna read it until you do a press release, talking about the article, talking about the research, or a link to it. And that in most cases will help you get into Google News and, get the, and try to get into Google News, by the way, because that helps. And that will help you rank as a whole instead of just getting in traffic from a random website. So, once you do the Google, once you do the press release, and I also offer a press release service, by the way, shameless plug. So once you do the press release, what you'll see is that not only does the press release bring in some good juice to your article, but you also you're getting some traffic to your article. 
that would attract Google to your website and also motivate Google to show you that article in uh, Google Discover. This not only works for blog posts, but it also works for other type of content. So if you were like doing a LinkedIn post, you can do a press release for that. But if you're running, doing, running a Facebook page, you can even do it for that. But the advantage is, well, but you need to make sure that you're using a package or you're using a press release package that includes getting shown up on Google News. So that's, and that's the important part. Uh, the other way of doing this is through outreach. And this is a little harder because then you have to outreach to websites that are already showing up in Google Discover, reach out to them, ask them for a backlink, ask them for a mention, that kind of thing. I haven't done it as of right now. I have no experience doing it, but by the looks of it, I think this will work. Other than that, you can also do a featured post on their, on their website and hopefully that will show up in Google Discover and that will help uh, then link back to your website so that it gives your website some link juice and it also throws some traffic over to your website, which eventually means that Google Discover will pick you up and some people will start following. So the idea of all of this is to get people to follow you. Or if you already have an audience, ask them to follow you, show them how to follow you so that they start following you and they just don't, don't just visit your website. That's it for me right now. I'm gonna be looking at this and I'm gonna be finding ways of how to leverage this to get in more traffic for my clients and for myself. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you think this is something that is gonna drastically affect search, I think I think it's, it's gonna affect search. But do you think that's gonna be the way? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.